Welcome to the second video of the Apache BIM series. In this video, we will configure Google Cloud Platform. We will activate some of the services that we will use to run the pipeline. We will also install Google Cloud CLI, which will help us to communicate with GCP from our local machine. Okay, so at first, we're going to create an account into the Google Cloud Platform. For that, we're going to visit this link, which is console.cloud.google.com. So you can use your Gmail account if you have one, then it is easy to use a Gmail account. Or if you don't have a Gmail account, if you have a different email address, you can also use that account too. But for that, we have to create a Google account to use that email address. So I'm going to use my personal email address. So for that, I'm going to create an account first. So to create that account, I'm going to click on this create account and then click on for my personal use. I'll put my name. And I'm going to use my email address. And I'll pick a password. I'll click next and I will get a uh, verification code in my email address I will check the code from my email address copy and paste it do the next I don't need the phone number you can put any date and then I'll go next so it's showing some privacy and terms and stuff I'll just agree on it and there you go my account got created and I'm get, I got into the Google Cloud console which is the platform okay so my account got created now I'm gonna keep my country as Canada I'll select the terms and service I don't need email updates and click on agree and continue okay so as a brand new account you can actually get $300 bill credit and that will be available for your account for the next three months so we're going to activate it because we will be using some of the services so now we will activate our billing account which will give us this $300 credit So we click on the activate button you can see we're gonna get like $300 credit for free and this will be available for next 90 days so let's do that select country select the organization select others it's account type individual so I'm gonna put my address and the credit card information Okay, so after providing those information, it uh, says it is done. So it's asking for some question.
and I don't need this information now. So yeah, we got our three hundred dollar bill credit. So if you go to the billing here, you will see you have the credit here for ninety one days. Okay, so now we will activate some of our services. What we're gonna use? We'll open the side menu and remove all the existing pinned and we'll expand it we're gonna need cloud storage we're gonna need cloud build Artifact Registry Data Flow Okay So let's activate all of them one by one Let's go to Data Flow So by default I believe Data Flow is activated But we also have to activate the Data Flow API So for that We have to go to the API and services and enable API services and here we click on the enable API and services and here we search data flow API and this is the first one and we enable it So while this thing is getting enabled, we're gonna go to our other services like cloud storage and inside the cloud storage, cloud is already enabled but we're gonna create a new bucket here. So this is the bucket creation button and then we're gonna name it Cross-cut data. We're gonna leave others as is. Default, everything should be default. Let's keep everything default. So the bucket got created so we'll use this bucket to, to actually store and run all the config for the pipeline let's check the next one which is cloud build so we also have to enable the cloud build api so this is going to be used when we will build our pipeline so while this thing is getting enabled we can go to the next one which is the artifact registry yeah. so we can also enable the artifact registry api there you go it got enabled so now we're going to create a repository in the artifact. This is where all of our images will be saved. So we're going to call it, create a new repository. And this would be a Docker repository. I'm going to call it crosscut data dash repo. And leave everything else as is. Standard region. And for the region you can I'm just gonna choose like US Central one and everything else is as is. Let's click on update button. And there you go, it got created. Okay, so all of the required services got enabled and configured. Now we will install G Cloud CLI. 
gcloud cli is a software which will help us to communicate from our local machine to gcp it will help us to build the template and also to run the template so let's do it so i'll share the link of this repository where we have all the useful link is there so the gcloud cli installation link is also here you can just copy the link and open a new tab and then here as I'm working on the Windows one so I'm gonna grab the gcloud CLI installer which I've got downloaded I'll open it and run it Let's click next agree installer it will take some time to finish the installation okay so after a while it got finished so now we're gonna click the next and just click on finish and this window got open on a separate monitor I just grab it here so I had uh, I had another account set up that's why it's showing but for your case it should be uh, it's gonna ask it will have only one option create a new configuration and that's what I'm gonna select now I'm gonna select two okay so now we're gonna put a name for the configuration Let's call it cross cut data Choose the account. So I'm gonna log in with the new account. So I'm gonna choose four. And while I did that, it it opened. Now we're gonna copy this link, select it, and Control C. Then on a new tab, we'll just paste it. And then here we have our GCP at the Proscar data account. We'll select it and then we'll give access. That's it. We got authenticated with our account. So now if we open this one, so this is big cloud project. So it's asking to actually pick a project. We can uh, pick one, but we're going to create a new project. Okay, so now it's asking to actually uh, to pick a project or we can create a new project. So we're gonna create a new project, which is number two. And then we're gonna give it an ID. I'm gonna call it crosscut data. Dash GC. doesn't exist but yes and there you go we have G cloud set on our next lecture we will go through the code base what I have built to run in GCP thank you